Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video on the AV8B Harrier. Basically, all I'm going to show you first of all is to switch the INS to pre-aligned. Basically, it's just easier that way, and I personally prefer it because then that way I can get up in the sky and do whatever is required of me. So, I'm going to head straight over now to the options menu and show you how to do that. So, in here it's pretty straightforward. Select the aircraft in the special options menu. And then I have it set, as it says there, INS default alignment pre-aligned. Just makes things so much easier. And all I want to do today is just get you up in the sky just so you can start flying, so you can get a feel for her. So uh, this is just me showing you already what she looks like, uh, sort of more real world. Now, however, I didn't think about this through thoroughly properly because I didn't put anything next to her to give you the scale. But take my word for it, she's not a big aircraft and that's good. Um, because most of that is engine and there's a very good reason for that as I'm sure most of you know But I wanted to show you what she looks like uh, properly out in the open and That engine as well is very distinctive There's not any other engine For, for a jet that I can think of anywhere that sounds like that. And I think it sounds pretty good Okay, so now here we go to the startup sequence so I'm going to come down here first to the right panel, click the battery, or flip the switch I should say, then the APU switch, very important, can't start the aircraft out without them. Uh, and then I'm going to bring the camera over here to the left, and then the first thing you want to switch now is going to be the engine RPM switch, then it will be the lid switch, and then it will be the oxygen switch. Again, these are the key ones you're going to need. Then the fuel shut off lever, that's got to go down, then the DECS switch goes up, Put my teeth back in for that one. Okay, and then next are the fuel pumps. These little here things are. Then you'll start to hear that little wind up a little bit. Next is the parking brake. Uh, you can leave this on. I always switch it off just to, you know, or take it off, I should say, sorry, so I don't forget. I'd map that, by the way, if I was you, just to be on the safe side, because sometimes you might hit that other one there that's by the throttle. Uh, okay, then put the flaps in the middle, so then they activate. Then I turn on the MFD uh, displays, just because again, just get into the habit of uh, getting ready as you're preparing your startup. Um, plus, you've got to wait as well for everything to start to kick in a little bit before you can even click the uh, or switch. Sorry, I say click. Uh, switch the uh, engine startup, uh, and then of course the HUD next. So as you can see, it pops up there. Uh, that will disappear, but don't worry, it will come back. Then, like I said earlier, with the pre-aligned INS, just switch it to NAV straight away, you're good to go. Generated. You don't need to worry about any of that. Um, I can try and ignore that as much as possible, that noise. Uh, I'm switching this on just so I can show you this panel in just a moment, because uh, I'll explain that. Generated. Now, this is where you can switch on the engine. And what it will do is it will start to prep the engine for a full startup. So you can hear the wind, I'll close the canopy. Their RPM should go to 16.2. So if you wait for that, brilliant. Okay, so this panel here, pretty straightforward. And what I've done there is I've throttled up to get the engine started properly. So yep, that, like I said, has disappeared and it will come back. It's okay, so here we go. So the top there is the engine RPM. Pretty straightforward. It's pretty much the fan speed. JPT is uh, your engine heat. That's in degrees Celsius, that number. Next is the water, basically. That's measured in pounds. So that's for vertical takeoff and landing and also short takeoff and landing, which you'll see as well soon. Um, next is the stab. That's basically for your pitch up and down is what that monitors. Uh, it won't monitor any uh, the other pitch that you'll use. Then above that is the uh, fuel flow. That's measured in pounds per minute. Something else obviously to keep an eye on as well uh, when you're fuel management. And the ducts, uh, that's for the inlets around the sides of the, uh, the main inlet to help breathing of the air. So there we go, the HUD's restored back to its normal mode. Uh, that is, by the way, in the v style mode currently at the moment. Uh, most of these videos that you'll see, I'll keep it in there anyway for the time being, just so it makes things easier and clear. And then I'll be able to go through most of those with you. This here 
is the water. So in the up position is uh, takeoff, and then the down position is landing. So that's pretty much it. Very quick, very easy startup of the Harrier, just basically to get the engine running and just a couple of things there to get you guys into the habit of making sure that you've gotten everything started up um, with the displays there and the HUD, all the switches and stuff like that. There'll be more that I'll be able to show you in the future, but that's pretty much what I wanted to show you today. So I wanted to say thank you for watching and I hope you look forward to seeing more of these.